So one of the world's largest technology events is officially in the books. This year's Elect Consumer Electronics Show was the first to be held in person since 2020, the rise of the COVID-19 pandemic. Of course, all the kids call it, what, CES now? They don't, you you don't have time to say the whole thing anymore. Thousands flocked to Las Vegas to witness some of the most cutting-edge innovations never seen before. Joining us in studio to talk about some unique environment, tech creations, uh, we have Katie Lindendahl, who is a consumer tech expert, the best of the best when it comes <laughs> to any of this. We love when she comes in, always brings the coolest stuff. And yes, yes Reynolds Absolutely. and I are like, um, what is this stuff? What? And it has a name to go along yeah. with it. It has a name. Its name is Emily. When this was shipped in, everybody thought it was a dead body. I was like, no, it is a <laughs> robot, even better. Emily, I have been following since 2010 when it was invented. It is just getting better and better over the years and saving so many lives. It is a robotic lifeguard, speeds of up to 23 miles per hour. And what's incredible about it is you can actually deploy this in a moment's notice and get to somebody on search and rescue very, very quickly. And going it's autonomously. The, the lifeguard is yes. not going with this. No, that's the great part about it. You can actually send it out on its own. And since it was invented in 2010 by Hydronolix, it actually has operational value in search and rescue and in sonar and also in testing water samples for scientists as well. So oh, if wow. there's uh, pollution, they can actually send the, boat, the bot out as opposed to sending an individual out, which is incredible. And is it like, do they have some controls to tell it where to go? Is that how it finds somebody? Yes, and depending on the program, they also have an app that you can work in conjunction like with it. it. But it I is know, so incredibly fast and efficient, and it just keeps getting better year over year. And as you can see here, too, when it reaches a victim, you know, they're obviously right. in a state of panic. You have easy grip handles that make it so right. accessible. We're sitting but here, we're like... I, I gotta <laughs> ask you, though, I mean, a busy day at the beach, this is one craft. What if there are more, there's more than, say, one person. Well, if you have more than one operation needed, I'm certainly you can have more than one Emily. What is interesting to me yeah. is every one of their special projects is funded by Naval Research. So this is made not only for search and rescue, but a lot of patrols and police stations across the coast, too, are also deploying these because they're in charge of, heaven forbid, an accident happen as well. You guys are fascinated by this. Do you want to open this thing, Reynolds? Are you determined I'm, to I'm just, make I'm, it I'm blown away. It's very lightweight. Yeah, no, yep. it is very, very sturdy. I, I mean, it looks like it could take a, a big hit from a wave and just keep on going. Yeah, here we go. We'll keep talking at her you you finished disassembling that yeah and i'll move on to the tire because this yes. i actually i just saw this on tiktok i kid you not you yesterday really? so i'm so glad you brought this in because this is not any normal tire i don't even get a close-up shot of this yes but and i sent in some video too what is crazy about this is this is from the smart tire company it is metal bike and tire and in space you don't have the option for a spare tire right this was originally tested for nasa for future mars rover missions and is a technology made from space special metals and what's unique about it is as you can see anytime you actually push down the material okay. it is airless and it will bounce right back into shape using a smart metal alloy wow. so very unique technology this was at CES a consumer innovation winner and what's so cool about it is the company's like listen this is ambitious to be taking on tires a whole industry but we also have plans not only to start with bicycles but go to motorsports go to NASCAR to go to cars. military and eventually vehicles so we're seeing new materials that are airless and just made of special space properties in conjunction with NASA. Okay, amazing. Uh, super fast. Uh, yeah. You've got something for the birds? Something really for the birds. Okay, just last but not least, this is kind of my wild card one. This is BirdNet, and I've got an education that a lot of people love bird watching. Yes. Oh, right down to so Generation cool. Z. So this is kind of Shazam for birds. 3,000 bird species from North America to Europe in a matter of seconds. You can hit it, and you can identify what that species is. This is in conjunction with Cornell Labs and just incredible technology using artificial the intelligence. Just from the sound of the birds? Yes, just from the sound of the birds, just like you would Shazam a song. That's amazing. So, Pretty neat stuff. And again, if you love your birds or you're wondering what's in your yard, fire it up. Katie Lindahl. Unbelievable. <laughs> Consumer tech expert, the absolute best of the best. We love when you come here, Katie. Thank you so much for being here.